Hey, Quad Bros, welcome back to another video. This time, we're going to be going over the Moscow tanks and showing off the x-rays for each of them. So if you guys don't already know, obviously, this isn't enlisted. This is War Thunder. And War Thunder has all of the tank models in the game. They have this neat x-ray feature that we can use to find out where we should be shooting enemy tanks with, say, an AT rifle or just our normal tanks or things like that. So I figured I'd do a guide here for you guys that don't have War Thunder installed and don't want to install it and don't really want to look through it. You can just use this guide guide and this video as a reference point. So starting off here with the Panzer IIc, the starting tank for the Germans in Moscow. The most important things to be shooting at are the side ammo racks. The center ammo rack is pretty hard to hit, but you can sometimes hit that through the front depending on the tank. But most of the time you're going to want to be shooting these side ammo racks or this bottom fuel tank with AT rifles. So if we can we can look here we'll turn this off it's this flat plate here you guys see this you can see this flat plate as opposed to the rest of the tank right here it's it's pretty flat but right here that is where you want to hit that's basically where that ammo is stored if you just put some at rifle shots right through this it's going to detonate the tank and same thing on this side the armor says that it's really thick but the at rifle will be able to penetrate through and you'll be just fine so that's the panzer II guys Right here, this ammo rack, or a little bit lower below on the right side, the fuel tank. And then, of course, the engines in the back. Don't really worry so much about the crew because the ammo is so easy to hit for your AT rifles and tanks that you'll be able to blow up the tank pretty easily and detonate it that way. All right, guys, next up is the Panzer 3B. This is the second tank unlock. Now, this thing's ammo is pretty hard to hit. It's down here at the bottom. You can see if we turn off this, it's kind of in this right in between these two... I don't know, whatever the hell these things are. Um, you know, you want to fire right down here. This one is pretty hard to take out, I found, with AT rifles. I'll talk about that in a future AT rifle video that I have in the works that'll come out here soon. But I, I kind of struggle hitting these ammo racks with the AT rifles, but sometimes you can do it. You can actually pin also right through the front here on this, this flat little part right here with an AT rifle. You can pin right through the front of it and actually detonate this ammo rack right here if they haven't used that ammo up because as they use ammo these racks do disappear but that's actually kind of a cheeky kill that you can do because this flat part here can be pinned by the armor or excuse me by the at rifles so i really uh recommend though on this tank just hitting the tracks blowing off the tracks and then hitting it with some at grenades or something like that but if you want to go for the fuel tanks or the ammo reserves they're on the sides here they're on the back and at the kind of bottom in between these two areas here now onto the panzer 3e guys the third unlock you get a more heavily armored variant i think in this it has just 30 armor in war thunder but in enlisted it does have 50 whole armor at the front so it's a it's it's much harder to pin on the front i don't think that you actually can penetrate through that flat spot the way you can with the panzer 3b however it is even harder to hit the ammo racks the ammo is much more stacked up now as opposed to spread out so your shots have to be even more precise as opposed to the b you kind of got to shoot right above this uh this track here it's really hard to hit these ammo racks guys it's it's really hard they even removed that center ammo rack and this is this tank is a huge pain in the ass for an at rifle to take down you got to hit these ammo racks i recommend just trying to take out the crew maybe fire some rounds maybe right at this spot here this little flat bit here and you can get a nice penetration through and detonate or excuse me and, and take out two of the crew members and just try to like you know hurt the tank that way but again just like the panzer 3b i think tracking this thing and then hitting it with an explosive pack is the most effective way of taking it down all right, guys, now on to the Panzer IV E here. We can pull up the nice little x-ray again. And this thing is filled with stuff. This has so many things that go boom that are very easy to hit. Again, just like the Panzer II, it's got this flat bit right here on the side that if you can hit it, you have a good chance of either knocking out a crewman or you know the gunner and the loader or just outright detonating the tank it's, so it's got some ammo on the side there that's where i recommend you guys fire with your tanks if you get around the flank on say a panzer ii we can even go and check to see you know can a panzer ii or excuse me a um a t60 even pin through no it doesn't look like a panzer three can can pin through anywhere on this thing so a panzer if you're in a t60 uh my recommendation is to run the hell away but a t26 that's T26E. T26 here. This thing could easily pin through in most areas. So right here, you, know, you can fire through the side of it. And there you go. Do a bunch of damage. It's kind of hard to detonate the 
ammo with this one doesn't seem like it's gonna detonate on a single shot through but you can at least do a lot of damage to it and kill some of the crew so on and so forth you can even fire through the front of this thing in some areas the more flat areas like right underneath the gun you can pin right through there's a bunch of damage so on and so forth guys but again x-ray the best place here is the side shots there is fuel tanks at the bottom but this is a kind of hard shot to take and then ammo again at the bottom but again hard areas here i recommend just this flat part right along this here you'll see it in game fire some at rifle shots through that and you'll probably net yourself a detonation and a kill finally guys the premium tank for the germans in moscow is the panzer 38 tf this is a hard one to ammo rack in my opinion this thing is very heavily armored and enlisted and in war thunder it seems 50 frontal 30 in the side you can pin this on the side with an at rifle but there's a lot of stuff in the way like as you can see here here's some ammo but the tracks are really going to absorb a lot of these shots same thing here the track is just going to absorb these shots so hitting these ammo reserves is going to be very very hard to do and again hitting you know this up here it's since it's not a great angle it's going to have kind of a side you know impact angle maybe you can, you can get pretty close to zero maybe right here but it's going to be hard to detonate this ammo and basically impossible to detonate these ammos down here so honestly the best thing is probably just hitting the fuel tanks on the side here and and you know getting the fuel tanks to go up and just light the tank on fire that way but oh god even still it's it has such big tracks right i feel like it's tracks just have such a huge area that honestly you're probably just going to hit the tracks and then just throw an explosive back at it to be completely honest with you guys so that's how i'd recommend taking this thing down is either tracking it or hitting the fuel tank hitting these ammo reserves is just going to be ridiculously difficult to do maybe you can somehow get the ammo up here but that's going to be pretty rough as well now the mighty t60 guys for the russians the bane of Axis players everywhere and enlisted. I've been told this thing is apparently hot garbage in War Thunder, but I don't know. In in uh, in enlisted, I'm pretty sure this thing could take on a Panther single-handedly. So I don't know. This thing is just kind of crazy and enlisted as of right now. But whatever. If you are firing at it, guys, you can see the ammo is located again right here at these tracks. The tracks are just going to absorb these shots. This is a really hard shot to take and to break. You might be able to get these back ammo racks firing more kind of here. But again, because of the way this armor is kind of set up, it is a very, very tough shot to hit anything relevant in this thing. And the engine on the side is going to absorb so many shots. You really want to be aiming kind of along this kind of in between the turret and the tracks right along this. That's what that's where you're going to want to aim. But it's just it's a really rough tank to hit because the tracks block a lot of damage, as you can see. And then the back spot here is pretty hard to hit, in my honest opinion. It's a very, you know, narrow spot to hit. But hey, maybe you can, again, ride along here. Shot right here should be able to hit some ammo with a, an AT rifle and maybe be able to do some damage. You can also always hit the fuel tank at the back, although you need to be hitting it from a very specific part. Again, guys, this tank is a tough little bugger to take out. It is a hard tank to kill. So it's just not going to be great. But its downside is only has two crew. So if you're using, say, the Panzer II, you're pretty easily able to kill this thing. And the best way to kill this thing is by just penetrating the front of it. So let's go ahead and actually go look at that. We'll bring up Germany. A lot of people have been asking about this, so I figured I'd do a little showcase of it. So we have the Panzer II. This is the Panzer IIc, the starting tank. And you can pin. You can pin the turret here. And if we just fire a shot, it's going to go right through and it's going to knock out. It's going to just blow this dude's head clean off and kill the gunner and now they're left with one crew member he's got a driver and the driver's not going to be able to do anything you can see all of this is just going to ricochet we're not going to be able to pin this isn't going to do anything you got to hit the turret you got to hit the flat part of that turret right there to kill that and then the t60 driver is either going to jump into the tank or into the gunner seat at which point you can just fire another shell and kill him off or you can just flank around the sides and he's going to run off and you can kind of shoot into the side spots here but again if you're firing guys this tank is a tough bugger to take down you need to make sure you're firing in between the turret and the tracks if you're firing with like an at rifle or something like that or maybe with an at rifle you might be able to get a lucky shot or a nice accurate shot right through the front here and blow this dude's head clean off 
Next up, guys, is the T26. This is the second tank you unlock for the Russian campaign. This thing is very lightly armored, just 15, and doesn't have a whole lot of slants to it, a lot of flat parts. So it does have a better cannon, of course, in the T60, but man, oh man, I don't know if this tank's any better. The T60 is such a hard tank to take down, and compared to this thing, the T60 might as well be a Tiger II or some garbage because this thing is made of paper. So we can take a look at the X-ray here, and we can see immediately right off the bat if you can hit this ammo down here, oh man, oh man, this thing is going up in smoke. They have all their ammo at the bottom, right kind of dead center of these tracks. It can be a hard shot to make, but it's not an impossible one. The tracks don't block as much of it as they do because you do have this kind of wide open area. And then there is some ammo up in the turret. And while it is kind of a sloped circular turret, it's not impossible to pin through here. It's not a, it's not a terrible impact angle. You can see it around like 15, depending on where you're at, maybe maybe 20 ish so you might be able to pin through this with an at rifle and if you are you should be able to detonate the ammo at worst you'll be able to if you pin through you will get some kills but the back fuel spot or the fuel is located in this back spot here kind of hard to hit if you're in the very back of it you might be able to you should actually you should be able to pin through this is pretty flat here for the most part you can pin through hit the fuel and be able to light it on fire but again the ammo down here at the bottom and then up in the turret are the two places that you want to be shooting. You can even do quite a bit of damage just firing directly at this. You might be able to pin through and do a little bit of damage. I do wish I had an AT rifle option in the protection analysis, but that wouldn't make any sense. So again, guys, turret for the T26 down below in the back for the fuel tank. Moving on to the BT-7. I think a lot of players have probably been seeing these things around because of the Twitch drop. So let's take a look at the BT-7 here. And you can see this thing is a crammed tank. This thing has no room for anything. If you manage to penetrate through this thing, you're probably going to be taking something down. You're going to kill something because its ammo is all along the bottom. Its ammo is along the side where the gunners are sitting. I think the gunners actually like stand on the ammo or would be sitting on like ammo boxes or some garbage. So this is such an easy tank to penetrate through because even if you like fire and you hit this fuel tank, I mean, you're still going to have a pretty good chance of lighting the tank on fire with an AT rifle or just a normal shell or something like that. Not to mention this thing is made of paper. It, it's red here. I don't know why it's red, but there's only 15 millimeters. So you can pin this thing with a Panzer II, right? So if we go to the Panzer, Panzer II again, I mean, we're going to be able to just penetrate right through the side of this thing. And you can see, you can hit this and the Panzer II has like 10 shots. So you can just fire into it ammo obviously it's not going to detonate it on one shot but you can fire 10 into that and you should probably be able to detonate the ammo that way or at least be able to light the fuel on kill a bunch of the crew you can penetrate in a lot of areas here just i mean again directly through the front the bt7 is incredibly lightly armored and only has three crews so you can take it out pretty pretty easily all right guys and finally the t28 the final unlock for the russians the scary thing about this thing is that it has a 76 millimeter cannon and three machine guns this is an infantry slaughterer and if it manages to hit you first with a shell your tank is probably going up in smoke but it is pretty lightly armored just 30 front 20 on the sides so again we can take a look at the x-ray and again it is a very very cramped tank ammo everywhere along this i mean there's six people in this thing so if you manage to get a shot through this thing you're going to be killing so many people this is a beautiful tank to see by the way because if you detonate this thing you get so many points so much xp just for killing this thing you can see the fuel tanks are in the back here we'll turn this off you can see probably not going to be able to hit the fuel tanks because there's a lot of stuff in the way but you can probably be able to easily hit right along here decent impact angle excuse me to hit you know zero percent of your perpendicular you should be able to pin right through here along this and probably detonate the fuel or excuse me detonate the ammo or at the least if you want to aim a little bit higher you can hit around here you know right along this flat spot here right here hit some ammo something like that you can even hit the front if you're in a tank you can do a lot of damage to this thing we can take a look you know a panzer four for example go to rank one germany panzer four Panzer 4C, we can see if you manage to get a shot straight through the middle here, I mean, <laughs> you're knocking, you're doing so much damage, right? Enlisted, the damage is a little bit lower, but you can still see the 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 damage that you can do to these guys because their 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 crew is so you know together, so grouped up, and so just a just a single shot, you know, through the side or something like that 
and you will easily be able to take out so much of this crew and do tons and tons of damage to this tank. This tank is scary because if it hits you first, you're dead, but otherwise you should be fine dealing with it. And if you got an AT rifle, you should be able to just fire some shots to the side and do a decent amount of damage. Now, finally, guys, the BA-11. This is the premium tank for the Russians. It's very sloped, which makes it hard to actually penetrate through. You're going to have to make sure you hit it on the sides here, even though this is you know, sloped, you're never going to have a good impact angle just because, again, it's, it's such a sloped vehicle and it's it's so sleek. So it's, it's a hard tank to take down, honestly. But you are able to penetrate, I think, right through the front here. This is a good spot to be firing. It doesn't have a great impact angle, but it is, you know, some of the most flat on the tank. And then uh, somewhere along the side on this little, I don't know, I don't think the enlisted version has these weird little, I don't even know what these are. I don't know what, what these are supposed to do, but whatever they are, um, I think the enlisted tank does not have them. So this is where you should be firing kind of towards the side. If you have an AT rifle or something like that, we can check out the x-ray. You can see the ammo racks just kind of spread all along this. Very easy to hit. And there's also some ammo racks at the top here. So you, you should be able to, if you can get to the side into the back of this thing, detonate it through hitting the ammo pretty, pretty easily. Now that you guys know this, you guys are basically enlisted professional players, god gamers, so to speak, and you'll be able to take on any tank in the game, whether you're in a tank yourself or you're just taking them out with AT rifles because you know where to hit them, you know where that crew's at, and you know where the ammo is located. As you can see, I'll be able to take these guys out. Knowledge is power, guys, and that's why I make these videos for you guys. So if you liked it, please remember as always to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out. I do really, really appreciate it. And remember, you can always join our community Discord if you're looking for people to play with or just looking for some advice, some tips, things like that, stuff that doesn't quite make it to YouTube. You can always come over there. The link for that is in the description below, as is the link to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash heyquadro. Love to have you guys over there. You can come over, watch me play War Thunder tomorrow, watch me suck at it because I've never played it before. I've just installed it. I guess I played a couple matches like forever ago, like six years ago or something like that, but I've never really played it and I'm going to suck at it. It's going to be awful. So that'll be a fun time. Love to have you guys there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.